cannot stop but obsess over the things that have happened and the things that I have done. What I did to her, that devil spawn. I am not in doubt. I do not believe that I should have held my hand, stopped the headman's axe, or refused to push the bowl of poisoned food towards his open mouth, that disgusting, despicable man. No. What bothers me is that when I heard of the death of a child that until that moment I had believed was my son, when I heard of that death, I felt nothing. I do not know. I do not believe that that child is my son. I believe that that child is the spawn of the devil, created by those two as an abomination on the earth. And I do not care that he died. What does it mean, though, when a man ceases to care that a child he once loved had died? Will I change? What will I do? Will I become something that I do not understand? Or will I simply fulfill my own true desires and become the man that I have been this entire time? I do not know. Hello and welcome connoisseurs of Crusader Kings 3, friends of the channel and newcomers alike. I unpaused for a second before I clicked my button and we had a son. A son. What a beautiful son he is. Uh, he is a genius. Yes. Hashmadin is his name and uh, he might have just doomed his brother to death because I, uh, this son is so smart. He's going to be so bright and so wonderful, and he's going to make it, it very hard to not get rid of his older brother. And because his older brother is the spawn of the devil lady, and he is the spawn of my new wife with the genius trait. Ugh. Why? I think we're going to actually call him Abid al-Rashman after our illustrious ancestor instead. Like, this is a better name, but... <laughs> oh. <laughs> I feel the evil welling up in my heart. I look at this beautiful boy and I immediately fall in love with one son and fall deeply out of, the, out of love with the other. <laughs> it's instantaneous. Uh, I had questions before. My questions are all gone now. Ah, my ex-wife's double sp devil spawn wants to meet his peers. I mean, I'm not going to say no, mostly because it would be super convenient if he fell out of a tree or drowned in a lake. It would mean that I would have to do a whole lot less uh, treacherous <laughs> tyranny. All right. I, I have a lot of different things I'm thinking about doing today. I'm wondering whether or not Africa is a good choice. I did immediately in the first episode dismiss Africa, but I still have some thoughts that maybe it is or maybe some of Africa. Maybe not capture all the islands, but just the ones I need to skip to where I'm going. I would like to get there as quickly as possible, with as few conquests as possible. But also, that could involve Africa. I'm just thinking we are going to build something here. Maybe something for troops? Barracks would be good. Oh uh, yeah, maybe maybe we're going to do light horsemen in this game. I, I do like the idea of light horsemen. Bear blacksmiths are always good too. I think my second unit is going to be light horsemen. I think that'll be great. I think that's what we're going to aim for. Since I have the prestige on hand right now, I really think I would like to do this war. It's going to be very, very expensive. We'll have to bring in most of our allies, but if we do, we'll probably just crush him. I don't think he stands much a chance if we bring in twice as many guys, and we also have a higher quality than him. The only problem with that is that I've been really thinking hard, and I really, really am now sort of invested in the idea of combining uh, Mashariki and uh, Andalusian together. That way we can take all of the once separate people that created conflict in the original Umayyad Empire, the Iberian natives, the uh, Bedouins, and our Mashariki uh, Arabic culture, we can unify them into one group of people with similar traditions and we should have less conflict. At least that's the idea. What we're going to do is we're going to change to ceremonious and we're going to take Arabic as the language. And it's going to be pretty hard to pick the traditions, I think. Yeah, I don't know. There's going to be a lot of different traditions here that we can pick from and we only get to keep five. Uh, among these six, though, which ones are the best? 
We're definitely keeping Maburazun. We're probably keeping Dryland Dwellers. Philosopher Culture is really good, so I don't think I'm going to give that up either. <laughs> That's really giving us very few choices left. Expert Artisans, I like it because of uh, the build cost down. Maybe Dryland Dwellers is the out. Just very good. And we want, we sort of want that synergy there. Malleable Subjects is actually much better than I gave it credit for in the last episode. Mostly because it, uh, it just, just generally makes your culture more open and makes it easier for you to interact with others. Maybe this will do. Yeah, I think so. We're going to do Maraba, um, Mazurabe, Mubarazum, Dryland Dwellers, Philosopher Culture, uh, Ritualized Friendship, and Malleable Subjects. That'll do. Now we need to figure out a name. You know, I'm actually pretty high, happy with uh, Isabillion as our cultural name, you know? The center of our our origin place is going to be Isabilia or Sevilla in southern um, Iberia, so that's good. We have a good set of technologies as well. <laughs> it's too bad that neither culture had, uh, had onagers because I could really use them. The biggest problem we have here, though, is that we leaked. We leaked up into our father's capital. And you know what that means? It's the same risk that uh, we talk about every time we create a hybrid or a new culture. If it leaks up into your your liege's area, uh, your liege may just decide to adopt the culture of his capital. And if he does, he's going to steal our culture from us. <laughs> it's our culture, Dad. Please leave us with our culture. It didn't leak that much out, but it is kind of ironic that the... Uh, that because I forgot to change my capital first, uh, Isabilia doesn't actually have the culture, but my father's area does. That's a, that's a little weird. <laughs> now that we've dropped a convert culture on Isabilia, we have to start taking a little bit of time to think about what we're going to do next. Uh, there are just so many options. I would like to do some... Uh, please, Dad, please don't change. I would like to do a border... Raid, maybe, if uh, if our neighbor's ready for it. Um, either side would do. I, I don't want to really border... Actually, I can't border raid the other side, because that's my ally and uncle, and I wouldn't border raid him. Is there anything that we can get from our father? Probably not. I don't remember the last time we checked was, but I don't remember there being anything. We're sort of waiting for the duchy title, because once we have the duchy title, he'll probably give us the, uh, the vassals. It is a nice little domain we've got together here, though. It it's nice, you know? We're doing much better. I feel a lot more secure. I wish we had uh, more borders with people that we could uh, do border raids on. Border raids are a great part of this uh, this struggle that can be really useful for this early growth period. Hmm. <laughs> I'm obsessing over my father. I keep clicking on his stuff. Let's drop a convert action here in Isabella as well. It's one of the last places that we control. It is the last place we control that still needs to change its uh its culture and now we've moved our capital finally as well that's good that's good that's good oh, i probably should have moved it before but you know things happen the guys to the south of here in idrisid are doing work they're probably getting really close to being able to form that kingdom title i don't think i'm going to be able to get those african counties before they do unless i prioritize them and do them right now which uh I'm I'm still not sure I want to, and now I'd have to fight them for the uh, the the one county they already took. I think it's fine this way. I think we're gonna stick with uh with Mallorca for now. Oh, uh, this guy wants us to go on his hunt, which I absolutely would like to do. Yes, sir, I would like to go on your hunt. Okay, that's where he is, far up northeast. You know, I uh. I can't, I can't get over the fact I have two boar tusks. I can't get over it. It's very exciting to me every time I think about it. Those two boars in one fight. Yes, uh, I don't want this guy. Well, maybe if he's really good. No, I don't want him. So we're just going to take his money. We're definitely not the kind of man who would uh, who would overlook a little bit of money. You know, we're up here in Balencia, in the north of Balencia. That's, uh, that's good. Who is this? It's my son. He's, he's coming back now from the, uh, from, from seeing his peers. My, my false son. My not real son. 
Mm, probably get back in your horse. You know, do I actually care if we succeed? We have a high percentage already. We could do this. Are you practicing witchcraft? Are you practicing witchcraft? Is really cool. We get some. We get some uh, piety that we definitely need. And uh, and he gets upset with us, but the piety is useful. <laughs> is looking at flowers the same as witchcraft? All right. We have this woman. She wants us to stay and lay with her in the middle of our hunt. Oh, she's gorgeous. Uh, I don't want to give my hunt up, but, uh, but as a man of my means, I have options available to me. So I think we're just gonna, we're just gonna get married. Just get married, okay? So meet me back at the castle, which is your new home. But also, don't interfere with my hunt and learn your place as my new wife. That's kidding. I'm just kidding. Who would have guessed that we would find our second wife in the midst of a hunt in another man's territory? Hopefully she gives us some beautiful children. You know, we can have beauty and intelligence be the cornerstones of our family. Let's go! I guess this one just wasn't meant to be. Unlucky. Oh well, you know. Wait. What? I probably should have read that. There's some of those where, where the where the tag, the click tag, doesn't match the actual text, and you get confused. It's happened to me many times before. If I'd have read that, I probably would have realized that that was actually a success. Or maybe the whole screen is bugged. I don't know. But that guy, he gets a boar tusk. He gets to join the club of boar tusks. Of course, I am the king of boar tusks because I have two. But, uh, you know, he, he could join the club at least. Hopefully we get home quickly and safely. What is this? A duel demanded? Who should do this? Gar. Garcia, I think. My, uh, my caravan master is probably the one we're going to have do this. And, uh, he, he lost. Dang it, Garcia. Come on. Ah, uh, the travels to come. Are we going to have a good omen, a bad omen, or are we just going to tell this guy to book it? Well, I don't want to lose stress. So I guess we're gonna we're gonna do our 50-50, we're gonna take our chance, and we got a good omen, that's great. So we got our two boar tusks, we got our good omen, I think things are starting to turn around for us. There's only really one last thing we gotta do before we can, oh, we have a daughter. Nice. As I was saying, there's only really one last thing we gotta do, he got wounded. Oh, why? Why did you go to all the trouble to get wounded but didn't die? Ismail, why? Why couldn't you just... Anyway, it's time to worry about our daughter. Her name is Mina, and she's way, 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 way better than uh, that Ishmael devil spawn. It's time to decide. Either we attack this kid here in Africa, or we do the more difficult combat and take Majorca. I think we're going to go with Majorca. I think Majorca moves us further ahead and gets us closer to our ultimate goal of eventually landing on the coast of, uh, of the Holy Land, or maybe in Egypt we might land. With our allies, there's plenty of people here. There, there's lots, like, we could just, we could just easily do it. We're, we're even, we're even stronger against him than the last time we looked at this. We got the prestige. There's no point in waiting anymore. We just get this thing done. <laughs> the sooner we get this done, the sooner the next one happens, right? Hopefully launching our boats doesn't cost us too much. We're just going to, like, tell these guys we want them to wait off the edge of the island. That way we can gather all of our allies together before we land. Of course I will join you in war. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much. So many of the people that are coming in are family. Of course, almost all my alliances are with my family. Because I haven't really married for alliances. I've been marrying into the clan. I think it's a good thing. I think it helps us out a lot. And my new wife is pregnant. I wonder if her child will be beautiful like she is. I don't know. But we can always hope. Instead of just waiting for our allies to show up, I think we're going to do this. Oh, our new wife's first child was lost prematurely. That's a little sad. We're going to, like, land here instead, as I was saying before that tragedy took place. Just to get this siege done. That way we can get some war score on here. Maybe he'll follow us out here. I, I hope he doesn't try to land in the mainland and, like, siege down something in the south. That would be crazy. And we are just going to take, I think, 
Parthian tactics. We don't have any light horsemen yet, but we are planning to do it. Is that right, though? Do we want Parthian tactics? Envelopment is good. I, I don't know. I think, yeah, let's move towards envelopment through Parthian tactics. We'll eventually get some light horsemen to, uh, to validate that choice, because it is what we're going to build next. So. so there's that. And uh, the speed up for the siege. This guy wants my daughter as a hostage. Uh, I don't know if I feel good about that. His his father murdered our son. Uh, but we're going to do it anyway, just to keep him from uh, declaring war. I, I am nervous, but he's not his father, so hopefully he, uh, he isn't going to execute an innocent child in prison like his father and, uh, and nobody else I know thinks is a good idea. I definitely don't think anybody I know thinks it's a good idea to imprison a child and uh, execute them. That's what kind of crazy treachery. <laughs> what kind of crazy treachery is this old man? You're part of the feud. You consented to the feud. You know that a feud means murdering people, but you're going to blackmail me. You're going to blackmail me <laughs> over a feud that you consented to. Uh, you knew we were in a feud. <laughs> Feuds. Uh, that's fine. Somebody's trying to kill my dwarf as well. It's it's not good. I can't believe my father has the audacity to blackmail me for a murder that he knows full well was part of a feud. Here we go. We now have a second son, an heir, and a spare, and a devil child. Huh. That feels like way too many. Way too many. Ooh, is this guy worth money? No, he ain't. Hmm. That's too bad. Disappointing. I mean, it's too bad he's wounded, but we have a doctor. Um, does he not have a doctor? Is that the problem? He doesn't have his own doctor, and now he's not going to be helped? Because we have a perfectly okay doctor. I mean, perfectly okay, meaning he's terrible. Poor. Not terrible. Let's give him the credit where credit is due, but he's not good. This commander... Okay. He's alright, actually. So let's just invite him to join. And this is... A guy who wants to give, him, give us his troops for money, but we need our money for other things. So he's going to go over there and try to siege down the island that we sieged, which is perfectly fine. I don't even, I don't care, because I'm pretty sure we're going to win anyway. Even if he does remove the siege there, we'll still win. And my father has died. My father has died. My father blackmailed me over murdering someone as part of a feud that he agreed with. And then he died. Okay, I guess. Uh, that's a, that that's kind of action. Oh, we got it. Actually, never mind. We got it. We got it. I was gonna say it's disappointing that he broke the siege and that stopped us from winning, but we literally won right afterwards. Now we hold Majorca, and we're gonna work on that duchy as our next our next big conquest goal. I don't know if we're gonna use the uh, the additional um, diplomatic range to attack. Like, one of the islands? It depends. If we can reach Crete, we might skip, skip right to Crete. We might also pick someplace up that's, uh, in North Africa. Oh, I can't believe my father died. It's so weird. I have no idea how I feel about that. Like, my father and I got along well enough, but we weren't, like, friends, and there definitely wasn't love lost between us. I do hopefully want to be able to do a border raid soon. I can't border raid. This guy will literally kill my daughter. That's absurd. <laughs> I wonder if we've got any new people who might validate a change. Ugh. This is this is my oldest brother. He is now my liege. I don't know if I want to spend any effort on making him like us more, but we may have to do that someday. For now, though, we're going to continue. Well, for now, the plan is actually going to be to befriend all of our council members to get the bonus from being friends with your council members. That's the idea. Uh, we are going to also... Hmm. There's only two buildings there. It's because it's not our culture. Is there anything we can do with our brother? Maybe we should... Um, maybe we should swear fealty. Probably would be a good idea to do that at least sooner rather than later. What's this? The friend gesture of generosity. I don't think... I don't think I want to give any gold to this. I don't care how long it takes. Did my brother just die? He didn't even last three months, I don't think. What the heck? 
Not even three months! What did he even die of? What happened to you, brother? You know, this kid is gonna create a lot of instability. It might be an opportunity for us to break away, although I don't know that we're strong enough to yet. It's sort of a... wishy-washy thing this early on, when we are... just a brand new... count here, without a duchy title to our name, and... well, I mean... Soon we'll have a duchy title to our name. We can get in a lot of trouble if we break away, because breaking away is going to mean that we don't have the protection of our liege's army in battles. But I mean, if our liege doesn't have good armies, then it doesn't matter, because he can't protect us anyway. And we might as well just sort of strike out on our own and hope that our alliances can keep us together. Do we want to border raid our, uh, our nephew? <laughs> we don't, we don't have, we don't have the piety, and we really need to fix our piety. Uh, most likely the best way to do that would be to go on a hajj. But, uh, I don't know if we can do that. This is a war. My uncle, who hopefully will one day be my vassal, he's going to go to war to take land from this guy. Yeah, I can support that. I can absolutely support that. I think that that's a good thing. Hopefully giving him the war, hopefully helping him win this war won't mean that he doesn't become my vassal, though. That would, that would be an unpleasant consequence of helping him out. This is going to be a real quick war. Hopefully we can catch this guy before he hits the sea, but if he gets to the sea, it could be a little bit longer. If we catch him, we'll kill him. And when we kill him, we'll just need a siege. And then the whole thing will be done. Which I think is good. We are getting really, really, really close to being able to pay for a duchy title, and I, uh, I really hope we can, like, capture somebody or something. That'd be really nice. A good capture would make a big difference. That guy is not worth any money to us, not at all. Um... Oh, we can negotiate an alliance with that nephew of ours, and with that nephew of ours, but still not with this kid. That's fine. New Marshall perk, let's just pick up envelopment, that's good. There it is, the beginning of the instability, he wants a tyranny war and he wants us to join. I mean, I don't think I want to join a tyranny war against my liege right now. I think right now I would prefer for the status quo, at least until we can get a little bit stronger. I want the status quo very, at very least, until I get my title. But, but, if they win a tyranny war, he'll be deposed. And when he's deposed, the kingdom will still exist. It'll just pass to his heir, right? I don't know. I don't think that's a good enough reason to join him anyway, though. I would rather just stay neutral. Yeah. I think we stay neutral on this one. Another beautiful, legitimate, non-devil devil spawn son. <sighs> Another heir given to us by our actual, actual loyal lover and wife, who isn't the devil spawn, who isn't the worst creature I've ever met in my entire life. It is becoming harder and harder for me to validate Oh, uh, we won the war over here in Labala, which is good, good. As I was saying, it's hard, becoming harder and harder for me to validate staying neutral about my, uh, the spawn living in my house, pretending to be my child. I just, I can't, I can't do all this work and let my, my land fall to that child of incest, most likely. Ugh. Well, at least we are now a Grand Emir. That, that is at least a good thing, but it just, it just pushes to the forefront even more the reality of the situation with my supposed son. I wonder if we have to wait till the war is over for him to grant us the vassals that are technically under our title, or if he'll do it during the war. I can't remember if that's one of the things that's locked based on war, but if it is locked based on war, it's going to be a long, long time. A long, long time, because they're really, neither side is making any advancements in this war. I kind of, kind of regret not participating. I suppose I could still join my liege's side to make the war happen faster, if it is going to wait till the end of it. But also, I'm being impatient. It could happen at any moment. I just can't remember. I just can't remember if it ha can happen in the war or not. Oh, 
Oh, oh, those are diplomacies from him. Those are, those are, that's what we were expecting. There they are. Ah, so he's granted us all of the vassals that are part of Isabella, and now we control all of Dejour, Isabella. We have a stronger, well, a strong emirate, which is really nice. Okay, so we have a new couple of vassals. We have our uncle who likes us a lot, and he's not really good at much except for I mean, he would make a good Mufti. He would make an excellent Mufti if our Mufti wasn't there anymore. And I'm pretty sure our Mufti is younger than him. But we're going to put Prince al Kasim in as our Chancellor, which means our, our tax collector, Zarb. I think that's his name. No longer has a place on our council. But, you know, his job is still pretty prestigious. That's, that should be enough for him. With Mayorka now in our control, I'm starting to really... So we have another event to improve Zarb, the the tax collector. I'm going to call him the spy master. Let's see. So he's not really good at much of anything. He's most good, I guess, at uh, diplomacy. But his education is definitely, definitely martial. It's crazy that he has plus eight to martial and still only has nine. Learning feels like a waste. I, I don't want to take money from him and make him upset. That's that's not that's not what we're here for. Could just take the prestige, I suppose. But really, I'm leaning between the learning and the marshal. Between those two, I think marshal's the right choice. So let's just increase his marshal. He's now a ten marshal. Should make him a little bit better since tax collectors use all their stats to determine their skill. Yeah. I am thinking still about what we're going to do with our money the next time we have some. So we just finished Isabella's um, religious conversion. Now we're going to go down and do Quadis. Another meet peer event. But this time it is my actual loved, beloved son of my actual loved, beloved, non-treacherous, incestuous devil wife. Uh, I don't know whether this is safe for him, especially since I'm sending him with the devil, because apparently Ishmael Umayyad is also going. Uh, but we're going to send him, because, you know, we don't want to stifle his education by uh, by hindering him. And uh, But his brother, his brother isn't going, because his brother, brother, the devil spawn is done. This is the end of the Devil Spawn. Uh, it's hard to do this for me as a human being, but it is not hard to do this for Hisham because he is absolutely convinced that this kid is a Devil Spawn born of a Devil Spawn, born of an incestuous relationship. Uh, no one's going to see it his way, but they can, uh, they, can, they can feel however they want because it's not illegal within our culture to slay our kin. So the only thing they can do is be scared that I might do it to them. And, you know, call me a, call me a kid murderer every time they think about it. Like, I mean, it's, it's still not good, but it's not illegal. It doesn't give me a trait. They're all mad. <laughs> everyone's upset, but of course, of course everyone's upset. I mean, I just killed a child for what may or may not be made up reasons. Oh, Magharab, as I predicted earlier, has formed. So we do have a southern kingdom. In Africa, directly below us. That is a good thing and a bad thing. It is a good thing if our liege can become strong enough to protect us, and it is a bad thing if he can't, because uh, I don't want to have to fight to keep my newly minted, beautiful little emirate, which now has my one and only first actual son as its heir. And from this day forward, that is what everyone is going to be required to say when they live inside of the emirate. They're going to have to acknowledge that I only have one son because the two dead boys were devil spawn. And anybody who doesn't do that should remember how easy it was for me to put my son in prison and end his life. I mean, not my son. That child, the devil spawn. Not my son at all. Let's set a control task up here in Majorca. We probably should have done that a while ago, but we just, I just completely forgot about it. And this war is going very much against my brother. Look at our knights. Yeah, this guy is an eight. 
So eight is my lowest right now. We've got Zarb in there, our tax collector being a knight. He is barely qualifying. That's fine. And I think this is going to be the end of the episode. We're we're going to talk it out a bit, you know. Um, got Majorca. We have only sons that are 100% verified children owe me in the succession. Our father died. Our brother died. His son is now in power and very likely going to be removed and replaced by his own brother. We can't quite buy camel riders or light horsemen yet. I want to buy one or the other. They're, I definitely want that because we can do the hillside grazing, which will mean I will have a really nice place for some like light horsemen to live. We have finally succeeded. Oh wait, no, this isn't the last one. We still have one more event left to do after this. It's not quite finished. I thought this was the finished event, but it's not. And yeah, I think once we start building our troops up, we're going to be able to do a lot of these conquests faster, but, you know, when we're, when we're playing this early, at this early date, we go so slow. That is the end of the war for Al-Andalus. One brother has been exchanged for another. One child has been exchanged for another child. I'm not sure why they thought one child would be better than the other, but, you know, I think it's just that they wanted the rules to be softened up. It's always about that. It's always about just, just wanting to have your way, you know? And yeah, look at this. We have a nice, nice little domain started. We need to build it up, though. Uh, it can't really do much on its own. We also need to strengthen our council uh, relationships by befriending them, and we need to strengthen our family relationships by befriending them. With that, we're going to bring this episode finally to an end. Prince Hisham Abin Mohammed of Al-Andalus. Uh, how long is this going to be? Hopefully we can do another war here soon. I really want to take this duchy. Anyway, I, w I was saying this is the end. Goodbye for now. Oh, wait. No, not goodbye for now. So this guy, Prince Almundir, has become our friend. All right. I can dig that. I much prefer to make friends than enemies. And I sure have been making a lot of enemies lately. And uh, cleaning up a lot of enemies lately. All right, take two. Goodbye for now. And I will see you in the next episode.